Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to enable a close button on your Mega Menu or Mega Tooltip with Divi Mega Pro. And so as you can see here in this Mega Menu, I have a nice little close button and when clicked, it closes the Mega Menu. This could be a really great user experience feature for your website visitors. So if you have a really big Mega Menu or maybe on mobile where the screen real estate is, is really limited and it's uh, a little bit more difficult for the user to uh, tap off of the mega menu, you can put a close button there so that they can easily close the mega menu and get it out of the way if they want. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that here. So uh, we already have it set up for this mega menu and um, I'm gonna show you what that looks like here. So you can see it's under close button customizations and you can either enable it on desktop enable it on mobile or both. So if you wanted it to just be on mobile, you could do that. Or if you wanted it just on desktop, you could do that. And then you can customize the text color. You can add a background color if you want. And then you can add uh, padding and then border radius. So if you wanted to put the X uh, with a circle around it, you could do that too. Um, and so very simple. And then I'm gonna go ahead and on uh, this mega tooltip, we created this mega tooltip um, in a previous tutorial. I'm going to show you how to add the close button from scratch here. So we're going to go ahead and enable it uh, just like we did for the mega menu. So I'm going to enable it on desktop. I'm also going to enable it on mobile and then I'm going to customize it there. And then the text is already black. So I like that. That's good. Um, background color. I'm going to leave it uh, why I don't want a background at all. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And so then I'm going to adjust the padding a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and click update. So very simple settings there to customize the, uh, the enable the close button and customize it there. So I'm going to refresh this page and this one is the same. We didn't change this and then this here is the one that we just added. So very simple to add, uh, to enable a close button there. Um, and you can optionally do it for desktop or mobile. Thanks for watching.